Richard Pryor, a lot of people say, is the GOAT. But to me, Bernie Mac is the GOAT. Always will be the GOAT. No arguments. Yeah. So that's where I'm at with that. Okay. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I feel uh, it. All right. Uh, welcome back to another episode of... This is actually a new podcast. When you were on, it was a drunken night out. Yeah. Uh, I decided to switch it up. We're getting faded with Ken Hamlet. I'm high right now. I don't Hell know if you could tell. No, not at all. Yeah, I was on ed- I've been on Edible for the last couple of hours. Good for you. A couple of Edibles. You've been actually, driving so. your family and the yeah, country Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. All right. All right. <laughs> I don't even know where that came up. I guess that was a work of fiction. We were, what in the event of you driving your family on a 50 milligram edible in the country? I'm not on 50 milligrams. Pass a state trooper. That would be be insane. What would happen? Is that the normal amount for you, 50 milligrams? No. I was like, that's a lot. I mean, I I think I recently did a a 10 or she just had, it was a chunk. And it's like, just keep biting off of it. I'm like, it's like 20 per bite. Like, I have to be careful with that stuff. I, I could melt into a... In a, into a ceiling. Yeah. I'm uh so okay. Let's okay, let's, let's <laughs> get, we get back into, on yeah, track before get, we talk about before weed. We get into it. Yeah, yeah. Look at the color uh, contrast. This is <laughs> this is nigritis right here. This is this is the look of America right this is, here. Yeah, this is what America got Richard be. Pryor <laughs> judgingly judging me uh over my head. I've never noticed how much he is judging though. He's, He's looking right down at you like, God damn, this, this is unprofessional nigga. <laughs> This is the goat, according to uh, That's the goat. Bernie Mac. That is Can't the goat. see him. It's not MC Hammer, like I thought. <laughs> and to my, uh, I guess you're to your back. You're back. You're right. To yeah, my back, yeah, right, yeah. is a Eddie Murphy. No, it's Chris Rock, man. Oh, it's Chris Rock. So behind me, behind me is this, Murphy, and then to here, this is Murphy. Where you can't see out of the camera. Oh yeah, behind you, out of camera. That's right. uh, that's Chris Rock. But right. this is uh, this is Murphy. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, great. Yeah. Who did those paintings? My wife did, man. <laughs> they're beautiful, man. and they're like black light ready just for weed. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Is she a weed head too? No, she hates it. Good. Right. Yeah, she used to. She would kind of be down for everything, and now she's like, no. We had a terrible experience with edibles, so she did, mm. and uh, yeah, I almost took her out that night. She was freaking out. She was being weird. Oof, being weird. Oof. She yeah. just started to do high and karate, high. and the and this is like <sighs> she was doing like weird demonic shit, picking up, like, picking up your son, and just like I'll throw him, I'll throw him. <laughs> nah, not crystal meth high. We're oh, talking. good. Yeah, just that's weird. yeah, that's a chemical thing. <laughs> You don't do bodily harm if unless it's a chemical high. Yeah, that's for sure. We're just weed high. We're not good, okay. but enough to where you're kind of like rearranging yeah, things yeah. and <laughs> mystifying things that aren't that spiritual. And you've just been staring at the wall for the past thirty minutes, and you got some Blair Witch vibe that I'm not yeah. feeling. Yeah, that it was mostly her hanging upside down from the ceiling. Okay, kind of did it. For you. That'll do it for me. <laughs> I don't want none of that with you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, not into the high dosages of milligrams. I've also had some experiences with that too, and that's not great. Okay. But yeah, so she, 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 it was a small amount. I think she had like maybe. I don't think she did the full ten, so it was probably like seven milligrams, some shit like that. Okay, so it wasn't a lot, but it wasn't. But enough to where she's enough. just sensitive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's. I guess let's start into it then. Since you're the fucking here, you introduce yourself. Let the people know where they can find you. What cool stuff you got. This is Eddie uh, Schaefer. Yeah, or Mr. Eddie for Mr. on Eddie. the stage, but okay, Eddie Schaefer and in, in 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 the public. Okay, I don't know which one to put out there. Uh, we'll, we'll, Mr. Eddie <laughs> for right now, Mr. since Eddie. we're in context of yeah. professional comedy career, right? Uh, right. You know, uh, material. Then let's go with Mr. Eddie. Mr. Eddie. All right. Uh, so. Let's get into it. Let them know where they can find you. Cool hey. social media stuff first, and then we'll get into so, it. So social media, Schaefer Eddie on Instagram. It's uh, S-H-A-F-E-R-E-D-D-I-E. It's my name backwards. Super original at Instagram. And Eddie L. Schaefer on Facebook. I don't have my, well, I'm, I'm composing my own YouTube site. I do have a 20 minute video up there that I started to upload and then it just stopped uploading. <laughs> and then six months went by and I'm like, I still haven't returned to this. So that, that is the just longest tells you way to a, say I don't have a <laughs> how old I am and how out of touch I am with technology, which I plan on changing this year. That is the long winded saying of you don't have shit <laughs> to t- you reference YouTube. your comedy with. <laughs> you just say when that. people are like, send me a clip, I'm like. 
might be another six months. Yeah, yeah. Could we'll see what my internet's doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do mics until then. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's get into it then. Are you because drinking drugs, alcohol? Yeah. You kind of done it. The the yeah. the whole gambit. I have. Say. Yeah, I have to the Playing point where I flush. had to really be sober, and I've. I've recently reintroduced a little bit of the herbology and the the alcohols to the okay. equation. Okay. Um, not making it a consistent thing because I do appreciate the control and clarity that I have in my life. But I, I did go to the West Coast for a little vacay, met up with some old school friends, and things things got uh, communal. Got gotcha. you. So, so and it was the right place, right time for it. Right people around, right? Yeah, so then you yeah. felt like it was, okay. So you, now you don't feel like you have to be completely 100% sober. You can just like. I think that's where it. I'm at. Yeah. And I think I'll have to tell my brother and his family, like, oh, I can have a beer here or there so that they're not like, so what's going on with your sobriety? I'm like, is that as long as I ain't doing the cocaina. Yeah. That's so. stay away from the chemicals and I'm good because <laughs> it just leads to porn and jerking off for 18 hours. That's not that bad, though. No. Out of all the bad things that could happen, I, I mean, mean... it's cool, but then, like, the down is brutal, and the mm. the, the emotional <clears throat> come down, and the, the physiological stuff that happens, and it's just not a good scene. Not it good. goes... It gets dark. Not a party it's, time. Yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, it gets yeah. dark. It's, like, dark uh, by yourself, which is the worst kind of... Why are you, you doing coke by yourself? Yeah, what That's am I going to do? a party drug, my, ain't my, it? Yeah, it is a party drug, but, like, why are you going to... You know, but I like to... I I had a tendency to just like the feeling of it. And then like I get absorbed in, in, you know, in visuals. Mm. I'm like, don't want to be in public like that. I really (laughs) don't like, I am a straight freak. Cause there's some motherfuckers that like rolled up to me like early in the morning going, I guess they're coming home. Just looking at me like all thirsty and shit. Like, nigga, you need to close your mouth. (laughs) I'm not judging you, but you look like you're wanting to fight me right now. And I think you're coming off a blow and your mouth's open and it's not a good look. It's not hot. I'm not into you. And I think you need to go away. You're way too close to me right now. Yeah. So you don't want that feeling. I don't want, I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like hungry for like, I'll fuck, I'll fuck, I'll fuck your dog. You know what I mean? Like I'll play with your, play with your pet zebra, whatever you got in the house. Yeah. I don't want to, yeah. So, um, not the not the best way to go. Um, yeah. So I like my strength. I, I like the stamina, and I mean, I have I have a gym a block away from my house that I've have not gotten into the habit of going to, and I'm still I'm I'm just giving them my money. Yeah. And so I want to get to that place where I'm getting back into my physical health. Got and, you. So Coke doesn't don't help with that. No, so, it don't. It don't. <laughs> I mean, I faltered enough, but yeah. <laughs> I've I've gotten into in, into a good place, and I want to maintain that. All right, hell yeah. So in it, let's uh, in a in a you know a miracle world where there are no negative side effects. That would be wonderful. What would be your dream? What what's your go to? Like, if you can only pick one drug, one thing. It doesn't have the alcohol, drug. The one thing. What would it be? As far as an inebriant? Yeah, inebriant, yeah. Well, I mean, for me, Coke is just about sex and just okay. about feeling freaky. So, sure I mean, i rather, can. you could do that with weed. You could do it with alcohol, obviously. Yeah. I don't know, one go-to. Um, heroin. Let's just go right <laughs> to that. Wait, you've done heroin? No, I've never done oh, Okay, heroin. I was like, damn it, dude. And I didn't know how to respond to that because I'm like, I don't want to so touch you. but like, whoa. right now. I'm, no, I've <laughs> never done heroin. All right. <laughs> I've done, you know, I've done meth once. That was a New Orleans story. I think you I told, told that you one on the that. podcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 You said that accident. Was a, that yeah. just happened. Like, yeah. it was people were around with a bag of white. And I'm like, well, it's, I'm, I'm on vacation. Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it. And they're like, watch out. Sniff. And it was <laughs> fucking meth. And then I did two fat bumps right after. I'm like, more. Yeah. And they're like, please stop. Yeah. You are going to die. Yeah, Even like the people that yeah. were the drug users were like, please stop. You're a maniac. Yeah. Damn. That's yeah. bad when the people that are like, hey, we do this all the time. You should stop. You know, yeah. It's like, please stop. Yeah. Not just because you're going to take all take of our drugs, yeah, but yeah. I don't really want to report the police at this bar <laughs> when you die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, dude. Damn. Okay. So you've done meth. You've done Obviously, smoke weed, drink, Have, Coke, Coke. Obviously, yeah. Adderall. Adderall. What is the feeling of Adder- Adderall? It's gooey. It's like, the, it's like mm. you feel kind of gooey and nice, and you're up, but yeah. you're kind of also relaxed as well. And so, 
people say that that is sort of a meth heroin kind of yeah, substitute. Yeah. Which it's easily, easily like. I mean, it's methamphetamine. You do, you do coke one night. You're like, I don't want to do that for another fucking six months. You do mm. Adderall. You're like, I want to keep doing that. Like Damn. that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the shit. power of opiates and pills. Mm. You know, my buddy has prescription stuff because he's got severe ADHD and it really helps him focus. But he's yeah. like, he's like, you want a couple try? And then like once I kept coming back, like, hey, man, can I get more? He's like, bro, you're he's done. Like, you're I'm breaking, I'm breaking you off, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. You out of your fucking mind? He's like, you're going to be sucking dick I'm for like, pills. It's seriously, it's like, it's <laughs> like sucking my best friend's dick for no reason. <laughs> for nothing. Just because. Just yeah, just because. <laughs> I'm like, just because I need those pills, son. <laughs> I want to feel gooey. All right, so let me let me melt into that dick. So <laughs> that's a lot right there. It's a lot. That's a, <laughs> I, I mean, comedy's only. I've been in in the game oh, for true. two years yeah. now, and it's only made me more ridiculous to listen to. Yeah. Oh man. All right. So you done done the 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 pill? Have, have you done any of like the the other pills? The other like you know. Oh, um, like Percocets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no. Perks, For some bands. reason, I've drawn the line there. Like, oh, okay. I, yeah. oh, <laughs> like the good. other stuff that's the designer <laughs> like drug. Like Xanax, yeah. all that kind of shit. I think maybe I've yeah. done a Xan once or maybe uh, some downer, like like a volume. I did a volume. Mm. I'm like, oh, oh, so you just don't like downers then? No, I don't like that. I'm gotcha. an upper guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, an upper. Yeah, I fair, like fair, feeling fair. keyed up and yeah. turned on and... The endorphin Nipples rush. Hard and shit. Yeah, you know? I got you, bro. <laughs> I just want. I want. I also desire to create my own endorphins mm. in real time, naturally. Yeah. Um. So there's that. But yeah, I mean, I definitely love the uppers. I love. I, what if I get weed? It's sativa. Mm. You know, if I'm gonna do it, a, a blend is nice, I suppose. But I usually would have put it into a spliff and mm, I know people are vaping. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think the one, the one vice I have currently really is just tobacco and mm. it's the roll your own in the little hemp cone paper mm. and stuff it in. And if you're going to go, that's like clean, it's fuck, the cleanest. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you can really feel it. So it's not mm. like you're huffing five at a time. Like I have one and a couple hours later, another, a couple hours mm. later, another, that's not so maybe bad, like though. three a day possibly. Yeah, yeah, That's not bad. That's not, no, bad. it's not, yeah. but it's enough to where at my point in my life, like I'm doing this <clears throat> like wheeze and shit. Mm. And I'm noticing that it's happening on stage. And some people are like, bro, like what's going on with your respiratory stuff? Like they're yeah. really like coming at me. Like, I'm noticing your your breath control gotcha, is yeah, off, yeah. and I'm like, okay, fuck that. Gotta like, chill out on it. I gotta chill, and I gotta start really weaning it off, like consciously doing it. I'm nowhere disciplined to doing any of that right now, but I know, along with me videotaping my material um, live, I have to completely get rid of smoke altogether. It's just it's it's gotta be it's gotta be this year. Oh, yeah. I gotta really work on it this year. I gotta. I, there's some things I gotta white knuckle through. <laughs> This year, trust me, I did it. Yeah, yeah. or doing it still. I'm glad I'm not yeah. getting commercial brand. You know, I don't support. I will oh. say, you know, obviously the the the, the bugler tobacco. I'm not making a. a I'm not sponsored doing, I'm ad not here. Sp- fuck, <laughs> yeah. fuck roll tobacco. Fuck bugler. By the way, all of it. I don't know what fucking tree bark I'm smoking, but like, that can't be good. <laughs> And that's the ad. That's the yeah, bugler. <laughs> it's tree bark. <laughs> but if you put it in a hemp yeah. cleaner, better, yeah, for some better, reason. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So do do you have any? You got a crazy story? I know the last time you told me the story about meth in New Orleans. Ooh. You got a crazy story for the pod. Mm-mm. Well, let's see. What's um? I know I've had a recent story. Um, how crazy was it really, though? Uh, Damn. A recent story, like how recent? Well, I just went to California and I saw famous people, but it was just more like a little bit of weed, a little bit of booze. It's mostly booze. And then I did, uh, I tried their fucking mushroom weed out there. Jesus Christ. Mushroom weed? Well, I mean, it was really, really Oh, just like strong. some strong ass weed. I like mean, that, to the yeah, point yeah. where like we're all in the zone, we're all connecting as friends and we're all hugging each other in this huddle. And I thought like, Oh my God, we're fusing like Voltron. And I'm like, I got to break away. This shit was too real. It was that kind of, and then afterwards I was like, what? I said, is this just weed? In this yeah, like, yeah, what yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. mushroom fucking weed is going on here? And then my, 
uh, my my co partner comedian Bon Traeger, mm-hmm. who I'll tell you we'll get into all the collaborations and stuff I'm doing with him. But he was like he subsists on weed. Okay, he's like uh, he, I can't, yeah. yeah, he's he that's that's his that's his default. Like yeah. that that like drives high him, is your that drive that drives him through the day. Like that's oh. his medicine. That's his food. That's insane. And uh, I mean, you know, he's, he's Rick Rubin like that pre Rick Rubin. I don't know if Rick Rubin ever smoked weed, but I don't know. Anyway, that guy seemed like he did it all. I don't know who that is. Fuck Rick Rubin. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> that lame ass book he wrote. But um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, he um, what was I? He's used to, to smoking the shit. And he's he used to smoking the yeah. shit. Yeah, and um, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. But he was explaining to me, oh, well, that's because they grow it inside, mm-hmm. and then they grow it outside, then it goes. Ugh! It's strong. That was his description, literally. I think I don't think that's the science behind it. Man. But I think that's the idea. I think that's yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of the feeling. I mean, I I mean, if anybody would know, it's him. He's pretty well researched, pretty intelligent cat that way. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it got from A to B. But I'd got to tell you that stuff was psychedelic yeah. and very high end. You know, little pinners that you can order. You know, you can yeah. get stuff delivered out there. It's yep. brilliant, you know. Uh, I think everything needs to be of co- that kind of quality. But also, I knew that when people started smoking weed in Illinois, it'd be a shit show. Because we can't handle shit out here in Illinois. It's just like, got to take it back to the country. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's like the city's too hard, too wild for people. It's just People just don't know their limitations in general. I know I don't. Mm-hmm. So why would I get in a car and do that shit? <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. like people Probably like just thinking that. like, oh weed, let's go. Like no, dude, you you're you're out of control in your fucking Ford Mustang. Yeah, but that I mean that shit. It's because I see I smell it all the time on the freeway. You're sure. driving and you're like, God damn, dude, you're like you're smoking on the freeway. Yeah, I know in front of everybody right now, now not dog. giving a fuck. Yeah. Like when it's <laughs> like, full on back to back traffic. Like, yeah, you don't know what like you don't know what like. Blue lights are in the distance, man. Just they just on their, their like, motorcycle. Like, yeah. what are you doing, dude? Like, those be like, motherfucker. Just walk up to the, the window, same like, shit bro. as a can of alcohol in my world. Get the fuck out of the car. Yeah. You got a bad ticket. You might be going to jail tonight. You know, yeah, that's not, a fat ass ticket. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That's probably that's, that's probably I think you like get over a DUI. I think you could just get a DUI or DWI, or D- right? Yeah, yeah. Drive under the influence. Yeah, I think you for sure get it. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Is there an open? Container clause, like what is the? Oh, you can't. Well, you can't. Well, you certainly can't. Well, you certainly you or anyone in the vehicle that cannot have an open container. Yeah, of anything of, of beer. But, but no, I'm saying like, I, but like but with weed, is it, what is weed? It? Yeah, well, like an open. Yeah, like a lit up joint. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're just like yeah. yeah, it's an open container rule. Yeah, I don't. What's the? What would it would it just be possession? Would you? Get, is that? I don't know about possession. I think it would have to coincide with the fact that you're doing it whilst driving. Yeah. Because it's now recreationally yeah, legal. Yeah, it's legal, yeah. So it's across the board legal. So it's not like, so you can smoke in the street and be like, what? Yeah, but then if you're, it's, oh, I guess while operating a motorized vehicle. But oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Because everybody's different on it. It's not yeah. like, some people are complete pros, you know what I mean, yeah. doing that. So some people subsist on it. Some people are really great on weed, and then I've other. I also notice it's just like you're a fucking manwich right now. You're like you're like a you're 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 a bagel basically driving a car. Like yeah. you have no 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 sense of business awareness, at all. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You're just like you're just you're just a lump of coal. Yeah, with like no no sensory perception happening. Like just just no. Just a bump on a log. Something. About to crash. Something. I was making up some stuff that made no sense just then. No, I like it though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a riff. (laughs) You got you got to work out new bits (laughs) on the pod. All right, so uh, I'm really about, liking our, our our Negroid color contrast right now. I'm really appreciating it. This is it is Juneteenth. So I'm really appreciating the diversity of my uh, my African American brothers and sisters this month. Oh, I was like, it's not Juneteenth. Yeah, you it's getting there. Yeah, yeah, we're close. I mean, though. it's all, I we're mean, it's, it's 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 Gay Teenth. It's, it's Gay Pride, it's and, gay pride month and it's also June, a little June, bit of Black History. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All together, so mush, you can mush, be mush black and, and gay as fuck on that day. That's 19. you're allowed to double holiday for you, actually. It is a double holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I suppose I span the spectrum. You know what I mean? Like, it's Somebody it's. I said we're all on the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, not just the autistic spectrum. Yeah, but, like all um, the spectrums. I think yeah, so. Sexual spectrum. I think so, yeah. Fucking, yeah. Totes. We've all had a dick in our mouths, right, people? Right? No. no. Never, uh, okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, no? All right. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, now that I've uh, told my story. <laughs> well, no. 
now that everything's laid out on the carpet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I keep getting distracted by women. I'm, uh, I guess I'm seeing a lady. I guess I'm, uh, you know, just kind of figuring some stuff out, just getting out the gate. I was very honest with her about all my, you know, where I'm at, and she just loves it. She just loves where I'm at, and I think that's what anybody needs, however long or how how finite it, it, it it's going to be, you know, that everyone's on the same page. And I'm too old to lie. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to say my age. I want to have some sort of fucking mystique, even though I'm a small speck in the grand scale of the universe of are you no sure you one gives smoke? a shit. Are you sure you don't smoke weed? I'm there? high enough. See, like, that's the that thing. This, like is, this is how I already, this is how I talk. I'm a little tired. I had some Mickey D's. I had a $3 bundle before I got here. Yeah, that was the highest I, I could afford that kind of crappy food. And yeah. But I do get wild philosophical, philosophicalies about this and I'll come up with wild shit and I talk like I'm high. So yeah. I really... It's already inside of me. Did you just like smoke a lot of weed when you were younger? In my 20s, I kind of was yeah. definitely on the very consistent bend. Side, and it was yeah. my thing. Like I could manage that. And I think as life went on and certain things kind of like startled me or throttled me in a, in a way that I suppose helped me grow and, you know, woke me up to some other things. Yeah. Then it became a little bit more intense to smoke. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so certain situations, it wasn't the best remedy for me. Um, I mean, if it feels like, I suppose if it feels right to do it, but I did, it's just not a good, none of, nothing's really a go-to for me mm. these days. Caffeine, caffeine, little nicotine. Caffeine makes me feel, I, that's like my new addiction. I yeah. Think. yeah. I mean, and being sober and I was consistently sober for six months to a year mm-hmm. and, I really just everything, just tasting everything in such a new way and all the fruit juices and shit that I got into and the cold yeah. brew coffee. So like the first time I saw you, I had this coffee and I'll plug them. It's called punch <laughs> in the face and this cold brew called punch in the face. And I yeah. was wired and it was such a good, good, healthy feeling. Yeah. Like a good quality like a crafted feeling. anything. Very clean. Yeah. Very clean. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's because I didn't get hangovers, but like the, 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 the you feel like sludge in your veins yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I didn't mind that. Oh, oh you didn't <laughs> like mind the, the sludge? No, nah, I didn't you, mind the sludge just because the feeling of the being drunk, man. Yeah. Yeah. Great, yeah. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that actually booze is your thing then. Booze is, that's why I had to show Drunken Night Out because mm. it was my shit. I yeah. loved because uh, the show needs it was called inebriated, hydrated, and faded because it was a weed and drinking show. Mm. And then when I stopped doing it with the partner, uh, like my co-host, yeah, I just stuck to the drinking side, and so I took all the weed out of the show and changed it the format and shit. And then it's got a good ring to it. Yeah, drunken night. That, that's why it's so hard to. It's brilliant. Cut now. It's not going to be that anymore. It's going to be Sorry. getting faded with Ken. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm still going to keep a drunken night out for the areas that I can't. Sure. Do get and fade it. We well, can, you do that you know, in shows, right? You do that in your performances. There's still like a whole themed. Yeah, yeah. This, so the show is like you got to get drunk during the show, yeah. but because I stopped drinking, I felt like I felt like like going. You're being true to to your art. Yeah, and I I just wasn't, and my it like all my fr- just watching my friends have a fucking party doing the shows, like being at a fucking like orgy. And yeah. like nobody sleeping with you, you right. know what I mean? Like that's yeah, what that's, that's that's pointless. In my yeah, world. yeah, exactly, just dude. Just like coking just it like, up, right, into video by myself. Like no one cares but me. <laughs> no one's benefiting or regretting at the same time. Exactly, dude. So that's uh, that's why I was like, I gotta change this. Yeah. And so I've been smoking a lot more weed. I don't smoke all the time, but I smoke enough. I now now I'm smoking more than I was, but Got it. I always go through this like little waves with weed where I'm like, okay. yeah, I fucking love it. And, this and it's summer. Like, oh, that's all right. Yeah. So I mean it's all the same to me. I haven't worked since December. So, <laughs> so you're enjoying summer's, yourself. Like yeah, summer's been You've been going hard in the paint for years. Yeah. So now I'm just fucking chilling. Doing good for you. Fucking suburb dad life shit. I think you in the, the fruits of your labor should yeah, no one should ever be like, oh, well, you're not going to work. Well, what's the point? It's like, you've been a success. Yeah. You've made it. You know what I mean? Like, anybody can raise a kid, healthy relationship, wonderful wife, has a dope-ass house, undisclosed location, <laughs> um, you know, and living the life of a comedian after the kind of career you had prior. Yeah. It's like, you're the American dream, per se. 
Mm, I will say, of, you the, know what I mean? I like, would, the career is not as great as it uh, as it would seem, but it's all right. It's doing all right. I'm, doing I'm, it. I'm, yeah, yeah, You've doing it. You've made it to yeah, this point with like a real jobby job to where you can support your actual art right, and go enough. hard in the paint and make it even better. And I'm going to clearly see more of you, which is great uh, in the comedy world. Get your head out of the gutter. And um, <laughs> it's going to be magic. Oh. All right. Thank you for the... I'm going to accept that. Cool. And that's Point out. being, all done without <laughs> weed. All those words. <laughs> no weed. Yeah, that was that was a very, like, man. Like, like you're like a... Uh, what do they call it? When you take, like, shrooms or something with somebody and they, like, take you on the trip? Take you on that journey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychedelic yeah, yeah. trip? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're that guy right now, man. Cool. You're that guy. You got that guy energy, all dude. I had to do, all I had to do was drive an hour and a half on <laughs> McDonald's. An hour and a thing. half, dude? Well, it took me an hour and a half from the north side. Now I was like, I used to live on the south side in the South Shore area. Yeah. Um, and now I'm north. Now I'm north AF, as the kids would say. Like when we when we did the when you did the podcast last, you were on the south side. Mm-hmm. So we yeah. just flip flop. I totally flipped. Yeah. Same. I mean, more of a distance. Yeah. Well, you were kind of in the middle, so you might. have I was been, all the way up at Rogers. I was Rogers Park all so the way at the that's end. Yeah. Kind of close to where I live now. Where are you? Edgewater. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. That's I, literally, the, I literally did flip. This yep. one south, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just literally fucking flip. Yeah, out. wild. That's crazy, yeah. That, I like that area, though. You don't like it? You know I, I, mean? I don't know. I love Edgewater. Yeah. It's and a, I really enjoyed the southeast side and South Shore, you know? It wasn't as villainous and, you know, as people thought, you know, yeah. because we all get shitty information and, you know, agenda-driven BS. Um but yeah, it was a different energy for sure out there. People were really cool, watch their P's and Q's, but it was still, hey, how you doing? You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. there was still a communal thing if they knew you were cool, you, which was beautiful. And I thought, oh, it's going to be even more because it's so integrated and it's so cosmopolitan yeah. up north. And I was like, how's it going? People were like, deer yeah. in headlights. Like everybody's afraid of everybody still. Oh. And it's like, yeah. Christ, yeah, it's the that. city, you know, it's the city. It's uh, I mean, I uh, I like the area, but I also don't like the area. Sure. I like it because it's uh, it is kind of diverse. It's mostly white. It's mostly white. Yeah. Depending on where you're at in Edgewater, though, it can, it can get kind of diverse. But well, anything that's like it's real super ethnic and really gay. So it's yeah. like the streets are clean. You yeah. know what I mean, for the most part, <laughs> that's a plus. You got sh- you got Aldi's around me, McDonald's if you want to go dark. You get like uh, Whole Foods. You know, I mean, it's it's, hey, it's like the perfect mix of everything. Yeah. Yeah. You've got. Yeah. You've got stuff that's like run by LGBTQ. You got stuff that's run in like a multi-ethnic cultural format as yeah. well. Uh, I think people are socially engaged for the most part in their community. Yeah. Um, but still afraid to talk. Still afraid to have just how's it going? But now that it's summertime, people are getting a little more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. everybody in Chicago is happy doing? to talk now to I'm everybody. I'm just like, hey, yeah. what's up? It's like, okay, now. It's like, you know I'm yeah. not a threat, fucking white bitch. <laughs> Carol on the third floor. Carol on the third didn't floor. Didn't say anything to me. <laughs> white Jew bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just being shocking for no reason. I just had to zoom in on your face for that one so they knew that it was you that said that, not me. I have such That's dead like... eyes right now. It's so <laughs> dead. I look like I'm high. I do. I really do. I look like I'm just like, there's no... No, none of that. It's just... <laughs> it is. And because the light is like the... Yeah, it makes... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and sure. my alopecia. <laughs> That's also kicking in with the light. You yeah. can really see what eyebrows are not going to be there probably in the next 10 years but that runs in my family alopecia i was like really oh, less hair cool. that i mean that's kind of cool though because then you know you're yeah. shaving less exactly and people would be like but back in the day like when i get really hot and um sweaty and whatnot and people would be like what's going on with your eyebrows i'm like why yeah. what's going on are you threatened by <laughs> my skin tone right now and I guess I just must have looked like my eyebrows were gone. Gone, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like it looks like, like some Grace Jones <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hybrid. <laughs> Not perfect for you. <laughs> now I'm right on time. <laughs> I'm funnier when I'm just bullshitting with people. I've heard that a lot as a comedian. I mean, I've come up with, in two years, I've come up with much better stuff. Yeah. Working on things. Um, check me on the gram, on the Facebooks. And then on the YouTube site that doesn't exist. You can also 
Check me out on that. <laughs> what uh, what shows do you got going on? You got some shows that you're producing? Yeah. Anything you so to? with Bon Traeger, another uh, comedian who's been doing it for a bit. Uh, we are, we have composed our own AI art game show. Art. So the, the AR, AI, AI art, yeah, art yeah, for artificial intelligence, uh, yeah, yeah. mid journey is the company that creates. We've actually had, so the game show premise, we have comedians compose artwork. We have different prompts, right? Which is, it's mm. called prompt battle Royale. Actually this Saturday, June 10th at 11 PM Redline VR. It's a free show. You'll get to see the game show live in real time. Um, Trying to do it every month, actually. We got a long-standing thing with Redline VR for as long as we want. Uh, they're allowing us to get a Saturday night slot from 11 p.m. to 12 a.m.-ish. Saturday night, pretty pretty good of them. They yeah. are a virtual reality bar, so they do have uh, virtual reality games you can rent and play. They've got cocktails. They've got CBD and THC cocktails, so I imagine what that's like playing a VR game. A lot of fun. Oh, shit. But then the, also there is an open mic that goes on, I think, Tuesdays or Wednesdays in the Raven Room. Mm. And um, there's a local comic that actually runs that during the week, um, an open mic. <clears throat> but then once a month, we've been so far blessed to put on our show. Oh. Again, sorry. Premise being uh, you have contestants that are comedians. We help them compose AI art under different prompts. So there's four prompts four comedians and the prompt titles could be anything from suburban moms with large foreheads to what's the gayest thing you can think of, which you know, like kind of in conjunction with pride month this month, that's one of the prompts and um, basically use this mid journey application and you type in the Over syntax. Day. Yeah as many descriptors as you can, and it composes an image under that prompt title, but it's your own individual artistic expression through whatever words you compose. That's fire. To, yeah, it's pretty That's dope. That's cool as shit. It's being kind of linear, but also being really esoteric yeah. at the same time, whilst being, uh, you know, in this technological kind of upheaval that 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 is AI. Um, so we're the first motherfuckers that are capitalizing on this as a yeah. game show, son. Yeah, I don't think and, I've heard of anybody else doing anything like if that. If you look on YouTube, Prompt Battle Royale, we do have one of those shows taped. I think it's an April taping of that show, and you can watch it, and it's us. Oh, it's yeah. Mr. Eddie and Bon Traeger. We've, we're the co-writers, co-producers of this show and co-hosts of this show. And I kind of do my little Reggie Watts keyboard thing with the Casio keyboard, you know, for the musical interludes. Yeah. But we kind of like vibe off each other, call response. Um, we've been kind of like writing scripts for it every month. It's it's a whole thing. That's dope. Yeah. And so they go through it. They have their art pieces. And then they get up and they have a narrative for why they composed what they composed under that prompt. And then they get to roast each other's artwork. Mm live and then we have a judge and then the judge delineates three points for four uh contestants so that way one there's always one loser yeah and so um so we got one of the mid-journey people which are like they're like these like internet like graffiti taggers like but they work for mid-journey or they're part of the mid-journey click that yeah. is, is part of this whole thing it's it's wild they're interesting folks i'll tell you that that's cool but they're like it. nerd nerdy taggers like like internet people um and i'm such a i feel it, it certainly makes me feel older yeah but being a part of this in the scene i've just sort of happened upon it he chose me kind of thing oh that's cool so we started yeah. collect, i'm just like why are you trying but to fuck with me but yeah, he, he also he that's, finds that's a, commonality with me and i'm i'm literally older than everybody in the scene okay for <laughs> there's probably at least one person that's older than you man. yeah oh, like there's one. a couple there's a couple <laughs> or, or they're right at the same age that i am but it's beautiful to be connecting with people on a multi generational generational level yeah. um, to the point where I've fallen into this uh, in a pact as a co-producer with this gentleman. And now we're seeing how far we can take it. And comedians who have contributed, we had Mo Good as yes, our first judge and she loved it. I, I paid her a couple of bucks. 
Um, because I knew her value. You know what I mean? She's busy. She's running. Yeah. She's she's doing her own yeah. thing. Mo is dope. With Mo Michael dope. Myers at uh, the Den Theater. Shout out to them putting on some dope stuff. Yep, every... A lot of local comedians that are doing some really, really great shows. Uh, Mac Nepper from Bad Boy Comedy Podcast and Brandon Kiefer from Power Hour uh, putting on uh, at the Cave. It's in Bucktown, Wicker Park. They're doing like Tuesday night showcases of really hot comedians. So a lot of stuff's popping off and it's good to be yeah. in the mix with all those folks. It's a yeah, good yeah. energy. To be in the same conversations with those people and stuff yeah. too. Yeah, that's cool shit, man. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. So yeah, the, 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 the story, the end cap of that whole prompt battle royale show, like whoever wins, they we can use your artwork. We have physical pieces of the artwork with like this this heat printer that's cool uh that we can use and you know what i mean like if you want copies of it you know we can negotiate we could sell posters i mean we're also well bontrager i should say has been composing actual poster art composed of ai art images that he's composed yeah it's wild i mean it's wild taking over the world yeah (laughs) yeah Um, i was like you guys are part of the first yeah i don't know anybody else doing it making it making it a game show you know no i don't that's the first that i've heard of that and like, comedians that have been doing it, that have been involved thus far, are like, you You could take this on the road. And yeah. they've been very impressed by it. And these are people that have been doing stuff for 10 years, so they're a little jaded. And to hear that, <laughs> I mean, no, I mean. Yeah, they're not just giving that compliment they're not, out. They're, they're not they, blowing, they yeah. don't blow smoke. No reason you know what to, I mean? Yeah, because like, yeah, they've, they've been through a lot of stuff already. <laughs> yeah. God bless them. But um, the fact that they're giving us props is really, really yeah. beautiful and humbling. And it's good to be a part of it. You know, yeah. I didn't know where this journey is going to take me, you know, stepping into comedy. But there's that. And then I also um, connected with the people, the producers of um, Power Hour, which has moved to several locations in the city and now is in an American Legion basement, uh, 1824 West Cortland, Friday nights, 8 p.m. I'm the band leader in the band Ass to Ass. That's the band. And we back up, basically, we get the party started. Then there's a token drinker who's a comedian. They get drunk and heckle the comics that go up and do their bits. Oh, that's fun. So I'll get time to maybe do five minutes of my own material to go back, play the guitar. And they're like, keep playing guitar. So um, they, apparently, like, I've heard from people that were producers of the show or, or tied into it. It's like, I think you might have saved this open mic with you being there, like because yeah. of my energy and I take the music seriously enough. And there's a couple of consistent guys, Matt Perez, Jason Melton, they keep coming back and we oh, keep yeah. working it out and, you know, coming up with cool jams and material. And I try to throw in a, a cover from time to time to like maybe satisfy the people that maybe want to hear covers, things like that. But sometimes it's just, I don't want to think. And I just like the fact that it's working. Yeah. And that people are into it, and it just makes the show better, and it's kind of become an interesting cult, uh, you know, its own subculture, you know, yeah. where you could kind of get politically incorrect and take risks and still understand that it's under the context of comedy, mm. which is really rare. Yeah, that people shit don't get, exist anymore. It, people get really... Well, I was... God almighty, I just... I watched A Haunted House with Marlon Wayans, where I was like, I real I realized the doll that he was literally having relations with was Annabelle. Yeah. Like, and he was just, it was so disgusting. Yeah. I'm like, man, don't don't be on any substance <laughs> and watch that scene. But he just goes hard. And I'm like, you're you're motivating yourself by yourself. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, I don't think I would have the motivation to do this stupid scene <laughs> by myself. You know what I mean? Like yeah, me and yeah, just yeah. a small crew of people it's sweating just, yeah, on a doll, it's, it's like making three. a doll like getting your back end. And I mean, and he went hard, yeah. hard as the, as the Wayans do, because they're yeah. genius. They're genius. Geniuses. Yeah. Comedic geniuses. I sure. was just watching a, a handyman. Don't, uh, you know, what, what was his phrase? Like, never underestimate the power of the handicap. Up, up, and away. <laughs> and it was so, it, it always kind of tears me up because it's like I feel sorry for him, but it's the funniest shit ever. It, it, it's What's beautiful about those characters, it kind of makes you feel a lot of different things than just feeling humor. Yeah. It's like it, there's there's some sympathy there, but it also, you know, you got to laugh to keep from crying. And I think they understand that. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that family does. But yeah, for absolutely getting away from the whole. In any case, back to power hour, <laughs> political incorrectness, things you can't you do, do anymore. We yeah. we skirt along the lines of racial epitaphs at times, and it gets. I, I guess we had like a Twitter write up, like, oh, if you want to go to the racist up. mic, you go here, and it's Hilarious. not. It's not. I'm here to tell you because all is fair. And mm. there are still boundaries, obviously. Like, no one's like, no white folks are just commandeering the N word, yeah. like in full on, but skirting along the lines and doing it in a way that's just ridiculous and fun and wild. And that you get to, you get to do that and you get to work out, you know, some stuff that you wouldn't be able to work what, out at other mics. What night is that, Mike? Friday nights, Friday night. 8 p.m., okay. 1824 West Cortland, the American Legion Hall in the basement. Hell yeah. And there's like a full bar and the veterans run it. So you are supporting. You're supporting the troops. <laughs> and there also is a huge cage with a snake in it. A huge glass where they feed it like rats. A, like a, cool like a legit rattle rattlesnake in that bitch. That's cool. It, it's wild. Yeah. It's wild. It's country as fuck. It's certainly <laughs> like friends in low places yeah. come to power hour. So okay. between that and between the game show, great. And then I'm... I'm doing open mics, obviously, working out material. I did a show at Red Room on Memorial Day weekend. I was a featured act. I was opening up the show. I did 12 minutes. I set the energy and the tone. I was very grateful that I was able to pull that off, and everybody had a great night after that. And it's the same night I had to go and run and do... I had to run uh, and do yes. uh, the, the the game show. Yeah. Uh, Prompt Battle Royale. Yeah. Right after. So I'm just like, wow, feeling like... I'm a professional like a comic pro. today. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. All so right. for two years, that's that's kind of what's become of it, you know? Fuck yeah. All right, hell yeah, man. Well, congrats on all the fucking success and everything. Thank um, you. It's over? You know, okay, time to go. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's basically, that's basically I was going to queue yeah. out, do my own thing, you know? Uh, the end was smoking a bong. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't smoke, so we won't smoke on the, nah. the pod. So, I mean, this is it. This is getting faded with Ken Hamlet. I'm a guest in here, Mr. Eddie. Well, thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, come out uh, if this, if this, <laughs> is this it? That's really the interview? Yeah. yeah. God damn. That's normally tell stories. I try to keep it at 30 minutes. It's 42. Oh, well, yeah. oh my God. Well, that's, oh, I feel special. Well, let me shut the fuck up. And thanks for all for uh, listening. Uh, support local comedy, music, etc. cetera. Uh, check me out, Schaefer Eddie and IG and Eddie L. Schaefer on Facebook. And then uh, Power Hour, Friday nights, 8 o'clock, uh, 1824 West Cortland. And then uh, this Saturday, June 10th, Redline VR, Prompt Battle Royale. It's a live game show, AI art. We got Brandon Kiefer, Matt Banwert, Lane Johnson, and Miss Maybell. Maybell Mayhem, Lady Mayhem, uh, as the contestants, and a uh, really, really wild mid journey judge. So it's going to be a hoot. Oh, yeah. All right. This has been getting faded. Fade out.